and welcome to neutral side action, and we're just about ready for kickoff. And now let's head down to the coin toss. It's brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coca-Cola taste and zero calorie. Enjoy everything. Both teams are on the field, and we're just about ready to open things up. He's out to the 30, and he's tackled at the 31. The Knights and their coaching staff, Kirk, just happy to have a guy like this in the program. Their offense really clicks when he's playing well. Well, I think it gives them the diversity that they're looking for. I mean, at times they're going to run the football. Other times they're going to try to air it out. And when you have one guy that gets so much attention on the outside, it just seems to open up other aspects of their offensive attack. And they've done a good job as an offensive staff of putting together a good plan. I'm sure we're going to see it again today. And the halfback's got nowhere to go. And that was the freshman linebacker who was right there to make the play. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on their own 31. Quick throw, and he's hit before he can go anywhere. So it's complete, but they didn't get much there. And that's because the defense was just waiting on it, and they attacked. The quarterback should have found somebody else downfield. Great stop by the defense. They played with tremendous character on those downs. They'll bring him down at the 27. So here comes the offense taking the field for the first time today. to about the 37-yard line. It's second down, and they're about the length of the football from the first down marker. And he just gets rid of it. were playing run all the way right there and it paid off for him. That makes it four finishes. Booming kick. He takes it in at the 14. He's taken down at the 23 yard line. I don't think either team has a clear advantage so far. Let's see if they can make some plays and get a little separation. And down he goes, the 33-yard line. It's second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. Nice run there by the tailback, and it's good for the first. He got by a couple of defenders and made it to the sticks for the first down. And he's tackled at about the 47-yard line. It's great when a running attack comes through for the first down like this. It makes it off so much more versatile. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 47. He scrambles. He's at the 40. Catches it. 
You pick up a few yards there on the pass. And I'll tell you what, that fake handoff froze the secondary just enough to allow for the receiver to come up with a nice gain that time. Good call. From the 36-yard line, first down. He's tackled at the 34-yard line. tries to buy some time. That scramble gets them seven yards. It's third down, and this offense is about three feet away from that first down marker. to about the 24-yard line. This is the eighth play of this drive. Slings it. They'll bring him down around the one-yard line. First down. They've got the defense on their heels now. It's first and goal. And it pays off. Touchdown. This kid is a really reliable weapon. You definitely want the football in his hands near the end zone, and he showed you why right there. And he adds the extra point. So a nine-play, 75-yard drive. And they put up seven points. The score now, 7-0. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He's out to the 30. And down he goes at the 40-yard line. You never like to have to play from behind, but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their minds. They just need to go out there and play. Brought down at about the 49. Short yardage situation here. Second down and one. stop at about the 45. This game's already shaping up to be a good one as we head to the second quarter. The Knights with a touchdown lead. Welcome back here. We resume action now here in the second quarter. at the 43-yard line. The running back gets two on the carry. Nice play here by the senior to make the sure tackle. It's not very often that someone's able to shake this guy. From the 43-yard line, it's second. On the ground, and he won't get back to the line. Well, the defensive line got such a good push up front that there was no one on the offense to account for the linebacker. And he got through almost untouched. Yeah. 
it's a bad play overall by the offense. The quarterback's doing everything he can to be able to make the play work and try to execute. The problem is the offensive line did not do a good job protecting him. They're very fortunate that ball wasn't intercepted. In a perfect world, he knocks this kick down inside the 10. He really got a hold of that one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. With one quarter down, I really haven't seen too much separation between these two squads. Might be neck and neck the whole way. Hand off to the left. He's taken down around the 31-yard line. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 31-yard line. made around the 45 yard line this receiving core runs some great routes and that last play was an example of that as a defender it can be tough to match up sometimes pulls down the catch and he's got room here and he's taken down at the 39 First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 39-yard line. He gets out to about the 38-yard line. In the shotgun and five wideouts. Fires quick to an open man. He dropped it. You know, this is just amazing. You spend six days planning as a defensive coordinator for one guy, and then you get the other quarterback. So now what happens? Third down now, and they need to get it to the 29. Throws in a hurry. And he's hit immediately. It definitely put them in better field position. And I just have a feeling that they're going to punch it into the end zone on this drive. That makes it first and goal. Throws it away. From the nine yard line. Second down. A couple, maybe three yards on that run. We're at play number nine of this current drive. And he throws it away. Brad, I just think this quarterback's got to do a much better job of being able to lead that defense and make quicker decisions. And especially when the defense starts to get pressure, you've got to either get rid of that football or check it down or take off and run with it. And the field goal is good. They line up to kick this one away. Taken from the 10. He's out to the 30. Brought down at the 33. It was a pretty one-sided first quarter, but I wouldn't be surprised if things changed in a big way before halftime. He makes it out to maybe the 36-yard line. From their own 36-yard line. 
Second down. Scrambling around, and they got it. I think that one's on the offensive line. They've got to do a better job of holding their blocks, or else this quarterback's going to be pulling turf out of his face mask all game. It's now third down and long. 13 yards to go for the first down after the sack. for his running back, incomplete. They get this one off, and it's a beauty. Whoa, he just took a licking. The Knights offensive staff, I think, has done a good job of keeping their wide receiver in the game. Even though he's not having great stats, he's part of it, and the rest of the team now is picking up his slack, I think. Well, this offense is still putting points on the board, and I think at times they're actually using the wide receiver, the go-to man who's drawing so much attention, really as a decoy to open up other avenues of this offense. We've seen other receivers make some plays. They're running the football. So it'll be interesting to see what kind of adjustments this defense makes to try to slow down these other members of this offense and who knows, maybe that could open it back up for that marquee receiver. He gets rid of this one. They're about four yards away here on third down. The Knights use their second timeout. He's scrambling. And he's tackled at the 44. That's a game That'll bring up second and Zips it to the back. Out of bounds at about the 31. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. He's on the run. Inside the 10. He gets hit out of bounds. The seven-yard line. It's first down, and they'll be looking for six points here. two-yard line. Here's the 11th play of the drive. It's up, and it's good. We've played a half. The Knights lead it 13-0.
Hi, everybody. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Chris Davis, David Pollock here in the studio as always to lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. Ball security was a major theme coming into this game, and both offensive coordinators have to be thrilled with the fact that their offenses, first and foremost, did a good job of taking care of the ball. And you don't see it uh, every game, that's for sure, that both teams don't have a turnover at the half, and you usually see those critical mistakes that set up a short field for you to take advantage of, and, and it's definitely nice. It's nice to be able to put in a plan all throughout the week and to be able to execute it and not to be able to make those big mistakes, because coaches will tell you, it's those big mistakes that kill you. It's okay to be rushed in the pocket as a quarterback and then throw it to your mom in the third row. Don't throw it in harm's way. Both quarterbacks done a good job, and as a result, both teams with zero turnovers in the first half. I can only hope that Nestler and Herb Street will bring the same type of intensity to their call of the second half that David and I have brought to the halftime show. Of course, they always do. That's it for us here in the studio. Time to get you back out to the guys for the second half. Welcome back, everybody. Second half action about to begin. He just drills this one. And he makes it out to about the 17-yard line. The Knights continue to get it done on the defensive side of the football, Kirk. Yeah, they've done a good job of building this lead and almost determined here to protect it. Let's see if they can hold on here for the rest of the way. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. If these defenders continue to exploit the O-line like that, it's going to be a long day for this running back. From their own 15-yard line, it's second down. Pressure coming. Out of bounds at the 17. Empty backfield. Quarterback in the gun. Five wide receivers. Pulls it in. First down, and he's knocked out of bounds. This isn't even the best example, but I'm going to tell you something. This young man is really getting better at running his routes, which is a truly underrated quality these days. From their own 40-yard line, it's first down. Now he's scrambling. And they bring him down for a sack on the play. Well, we talked all week with these coaches, and even when we met with them yesterday out at practice, they told us there were some big concerns about facing these defensive ends. They thought that they might be able to hold up against him, maybe get the ball out of the pocket a little bit quicker, maybe use running backs and tight ends to help with double teams on the outside. But right now, whatever they thought they might be able to do, they better get back to that drawing board because these defensive ends are just too... He's got it out to his tight end. He's tackled right around the 46-yard line. So it's third down now, and they're going to need about four. Makes it out to maybe the 49-yard line. Four yards there on the carry for the halfback, and it's good for a first down. Again, they go with the halfback here, and again, he picks up some positive yardage and a first down. So the ball spotted right around midfield as they continue to move the ball on this drive. And he just gets rid of it. It's the ninth play of the drive. Quick shot to the open receiver, and he can't hang on to the ball. Eight. 
Catches it and hit immediately for a loss. That's a loss of about five. This defense is fast enough that they can create negative yards on completed passes. So the offense might want to consider that next time they try that play. They've got ten guys up. They're coming after the kick. And this one is a beauty. This punt bounces into the end zone, and this will be a touchback. So you wonder what kind of excitement we'll see this time around. They'll bring him down around the 35-yard line. First and ten. First and ten. Ball on the thirty-five yard line. You know what? After a play like that, I wouldn't be the least bit surprised if they went to the air again. That brings up second and one. the 46 they go with the option and pick up the first down yeah and that was a situation where the quarterback knew he could pick up the first down if he kept it himself that's a good decision from the 46 yard line first down complete he's got space to work and they make the stop around the 33 yard line so they complete that for about seven yards and they'll pick up a first down nice protection a good pass and even a better catch you can ask for much more than that From the 27 yard line. Second down. Brought down right around the 24 yard line. This is the eighth play of this drive. to the tailback. Good outside run there. From the 17-yard line, first down. The 10, tackle at the 7. The offense coordinator right now is very happy with the execution. That's the fifth first down on this drive alone. The big thing is when you have this kind of drive going, you don't want to end it in a field goal. Now you want to focus on trying to put the football into the end zone. Makes a move and he's in for the touchdown. like he's ready to kick this one off. Sends it sailing downfield. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. 
Their last drive ended in a punt, so this quarterback's going to be looking for something better on this drive. Down two possessions. This offense has to step up and capitalize on this possession. Throws it in a hurry, and he's tackled right away. You can tell he's got a lot of faith in his wide receivers. Even when he's a little bit off target, they can pull it in and make something happen. One more quarter to play. The Knights lead it by 20. All right, we're just about set to start action here again in the fourth quarter. Just throws this one away. It's third down, and they're about the length of the football away from the first down marker. Backup quarterback into the game now to call the signals. He makes it to the 38-yard line. Both teams played that one really well, but in the end, the drive remains alive for the offense. Gets rid of it. From their own 38 yard line. It's second down. Looks quick to his tight end and he can't hang on. Number 35, the intended receiver on the play. That brings us third and 10. Hands on it and dropped it. It's fourth down, and the offense is getting set to go for it. And they're going to have to give the ball back after going for it on fourth and long. Not much you can do there. You got to go for it and give yourselves a chance. You aren't going to convert many fourth downs against this defense. That's a really good stop. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. That was just smash mouth, helmet to chin football by the defensive line there. They dominated the point of attack. It's second and 11. Ball on the 39-yard line. Knocked out of bounds at about the 23-yard line. First down. We've got a first and ten. Ball on the 23-yard line. He's taken down at about the 11. That makes it first and 10. He gets rid of this one. Good job here by the defense. If you let this quarterback set and throw, he'll kill you all game. But they got excellent pressure on that play. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 11. Tackle made at the 10. Call it a gain of one yard. That'll bring up third and eight. There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. complete and he's hit right away. They'll line up for the field goal and this is nothing more than a chip shot. The 
The kick is up, and it's puts the uprights. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. And he got all of this one. Great kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. We're about set to start things up again. Just under three to go in regulation. Fires out to his receiver. And down he goes at the 42. There you go. Good read by the quarterback to give the offense a new set of downs. If the defense wants to line up and man, work that slant route until they stop it. From their own 42-yard line, it's first down. Around the 47 yard line. It's a bad play overall by the offense. The quarterback's doing everything he can to be able to make the play work and try to execute. The problem is the offensive line did not do a good job protecting him. They're very fortunate that ball wasn't intercepted the ground and he won't get back to the line you know as, as a running back you've got to get up field north and south that time he just seemed to wait and kind of delay his reaction and just got to be able to make a read get up field as quickly as possible in college football and especially up in the nfl the more you're dancing around waiting for a big play the more time you're giving an athletic defense a chance to come and make a play in the backfield against you and that's what happened boy was he drilled as he let go of that football yeah he's gonna feel that one tomorrow it's fourth down, and they're going to try to go for it. Quick throw. He's taken down at the two-yard line. This play is number eight on the drive. They're crowding that line of scrimmage. And he's in there. Touchdown. Great job of finding the space to run and just bursting in for six. And the quarterback stays on the field as they try for the two-point conversion. Less than two minutes in the fourth quarter. The Knights are flying through this ball game. They have scored 23 unanswered points. So now both teams come trotting back out onto the field. He makes it out to maybe the 29-yard line. He gains a couple of yards on the carry. Second down, seven yards to go. Ball on their own 29. Tackled after a decent run up the gut. Wildcats use their second timeout. Excellent punt. And he's taken down at the 34-yard line. 
Let's find out if the defense has made any adjustments after giving up a touchdown on that last drive. If you can bet this defense made some adjustments on the sideline, though. I don't know if they can stop the passing attack, but they need to at least be able to slow it down. He goes downtown. And he's hit immediately. man down and the trainers on their way out to have a look. Just over a minute left. And he's level at the nine. Spikes the ball. Ball inside the 10-yard line. It's third down. And he throws it away. You know, when you feel pressure like that, the worst thing you want to do is just to throw the ball into coverage. He got away with one right there. He's very fortunate. Next time, he should just throw it away out of bounds. Really nice play by the receiver to make sure he had possession before trying to make even a bigger play. That's all you need to do in that scenario. He's in trouble. Heading for the corner. And he's going to run this one in. Touchdown. So the kicker's going to stay on the sidelines. These guys will try for a two-point conversion. And he's in for two. What a great effort here not just by the return team to cover the onside kick, but also by the kicking team to get themselves in that position in the first place. You know this is a real crucial time in the game. It could still go either way. And this should be a kneel down as they just try to kill the clock. The Wildcats using their third and final timeout. He takes a knee, looking to take some time off that clock. The Knights, coaching staff, Kirk, do they start wondering, hey, uh, are we going to have trouble with our star player after the struggles he had today? Well, I think the coaching staff's got to be happy that this team was able to win the football game and overcome the fact that their star player didn't have a great game. But I think making adjustments and changing the game plan because their star didn't deliver, I think that would be a big mistake. That does it for this edition of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Herbstreit, I'm Brad Nessler saying so long.